Hello folks, has all the talk about dendro reactions, their sub reactions, amplifying stuff, transformative stuff, all that mumbo jumbo got you bogged down? Well, do you just want to play a strong dendro team without worrying about all the delicate intricacies? Well, you have come to the right place. I will go over some of the strongest and easiest to use teams that adds in the new dendro element. These teams will not be using Nahida, since she will end up in every meta dendro team anyway. I will have a separate video that will include her teams later. The first team I want to showcase is a free to play friendly one. This one is focused on Hyper Bloom, which needs 3 elements. You need dendro and hydro to create the bloom seeds, then electro to hit the seeds to create the Hyper Bloom reaction. One of the best teams for this involves all free to play units. For our Dendro, we have the Traveler. The Traveler is one of the best off-field Dendro units since their burst lasts for 12 seconds. 15 if you have Constellation 2. To make the seeds, you will use Hydro Xingqiu. He can keep applying Hydro for 15 to 18 seconds with his burst. To pop the seeds with Electro, we got the Electro Princess Fischl. Or Oz to be precise. Fischl's Oz and Ascension 4 can shock enemies and seeds for 10 to 12 seconds. Now that we have our elements that's needed, we will need an on-screen driver. The best one for this team is actually Sucrose. Her normal attacks will activate your Hydro Swords and Electro attacks from Oz, and it will swirl at the same time. She also adds a lot of AoE and can keep enemies grouped together close to the seeds. For artifacts, give Sucrose 4 piece for Destin set. Even though that set does not buff Dendro damage, it will increase all the Electro and Hydro flying around. Fischl can use 4 piece Thunder and Fury, 4 piece Tenacity, or just any offensive 2 piece combo. Xingqiu will want 4 piece Emblem to maximize his sword damage, and it also gives him a lot of energy recharge. The Traveler should go for as much energy recharge as well, since you don't have a Dendro battery on this team. If you got a decent Deep Wood memory set, then use that to increase Hyper Bloom's Dendro damage, but it's not necessary. It's more important to get good energy recharge on your artifacts instead. The rotation is simple. We'll use our longest burst first, then move on down. So start with Xing Cho's burst, since it lasts 15 to 18 seconds, then the Dendro Traveler. Now switch to Fischl and summon Oz. Once everything is set, go on Sucrose and just keep attacking and using her abilities to keep enemies grouped up. You'll be surprised how much damage this 4 star only team can do. This is one of my favorite teams since you can just use everyone's abilities, then just keep attacking with your Enemo Catalyst driver. Once all the flashy stuff disappears from the screen, then you redo the rotation again. For a substitute, Sucrose is a core member that can swirl and group enemies, so she stays. The reason why Hazel isn't a good replacement is because he knocks enemies away instead of grouping them together. Fischl is very strong here, but you can replace her with Raiden Shogun or Beidou. Beidou will need a lot of energy recharge, since her burst is pretty expensive, so you might be competing for the emblem set. Xingqiu can be replaced by Yelan to keep the damage, or Kokomi if you need a healer. Nilo can apply decent Hydro with her aura, but you can't really use her 3 hit water sword since Sucrose is a much better driver. And not including the Dendro Archon, our Dendro Traveler has the longest Dendro application while off field. You can use Kole, but she's not recommended since her burst is very short. The next two teams are similar. Both Aggravate and Spread teams utilize the Quicken reaction, which is Dendro plus Electro. The reason why Quicken is so good is because there is no internal cooldown when you apply Electro or Dendro to a Quicken enemy. So the faster you hit them with these elements, the more reactions you get. For both teams, the core unit will be the same. Dendro Traveler for off-field Dendro application, and Fischl for her constant Electro. Now onto the different units. For spread teams, Hainari is the only choice so far for on-field DPS, since the other two Dendro characters cannot apply Dendro fast enough. Nahida will be a better driver, but that's for another video. In the flex spot, you can go with Zhongli for heavy shields, or an enamel unit that can group enemies together. In aggravate teams, keep the same Traveler and Fischl, then you want an Anemo to swirl and group up enemies. Kazuha or Venti will be ideal, but Sucrose works too. The last unit will be another Electro to proc more aggravates. C 
Sino, Yai Miko, Kachin, and Raiden Shogun are great picks due to how much Electro they dish out. Now for their artifacts. Fischl will want 4 piece Thundering Fury since it can reduce his Oz cooldown and let him be on the field more to apply more Electro. Your Flex can use support sets like 4 piece Tenacity, 4 piece Noblesse, or even 4 piece Veneer if they're an Enemo unit. You'll still do straight Electro damage and those can be swirled. Lots of options for the Flex unit. Now for what's different between spread and aggro teams. Since the spread reaction does dendro damage, we have the dendro traveler 4 piece deep wood since that's the only artifact that lowers dendro resistance and spread damage does dendro. For Tainari, go with 4 piece gilded dreams or 4 piece wanderers for more damage. He's gonna be your main on field spreader and any generic offensive sets will work fine with him. The Aggravate reaction does Electro damage, so the Traveler does not need the Deep Boost set this time. Give them any damage set you have with lots of energy recharge. Emblem of Sever Fate is a great choice here if no one else is using it. For the other Electro unit, go with their specialized damage set, or any generic 2 piece combo that adds attack percent or Electro damage. Both teams will use similar rotations as well. Start with the Dendro Traveler's Burst, then Fisher's Oz, Squeezing your flex unit's ability depending on who they are. For example, if you are using Zhongli, use his pillar and shields before the Traveler's Burst. If your flex is a Nemo, then use their skills after Fisho uses Oz so you can swirl the Electro. Once all that is set up, tag in your on field DPS. For Spread Team, that would be Tainari. You'll use his skill and burst and then do 3 quick charge shots for extra dendro damage. In Aggravate Teams, your driver will be one of the other Electro units. Depending on which one, use their main on-field rotation to apply as much Electro as you can. For Substitute, you can replace Denjo Traveler with Kole, but it's still not ideal. Nahida can easily replace both the Traveler or Tainari, but that's for another place and time. Fischl is a core here and it's hard to replace, plus she's a free unit from two events. And you can buy her from the Paimon shop every 6 months. I already talked about the other flex options. Your Electro Driver in the Aggravate team can be any unit that can send out fast numbers of Electro hits. There is one more Dendro team I want to mention, but that's a very niche team that I was very hopeful for, but turned out to be pretty mediocre. That's the Bloom team with Milu. Bloom itself is pretty bad since enemies can move away from the seeds before it explodes, so you lose a lot of damage and your damage is also delayed by 6 seconds. Nilu's kit lets specific teams make the seeds blow up right away, which is great for bloom damage. However, Nilu's personal damage is pretty weak. She scales with HP, so you need HP to increase her normal damage. So you need HP to increase the damage from her E and burst. But if you want to increase the bloom damage, you need elemental mastery. And it's quite awkward to spread these two stats for Nilu. In the end, Nilu Bloom teams are average at best, and does not perform better than other Dendro teams mentioned earlier in the video. And we are done with all the useful Dendro teams. No other Dendro related reactions exist. Nothing burning in the back of my mind that I'm ignoring, right? I covered all the important reactions. Okay fine, there are the Pyro Dendro reactions that give you burning or burgeon, but because of how fast the pyro is applied and how weak the damage is, it is very hard to make efficient teams that focuses on these two reactions. Sure, there are some specific characters that can utilize them, but you need to do very niche and specific rotations, so it ends up being more annoying to play and it didn't feel right to use. So that's why I'm skipping those elemental teams. My favorite teams so far are the Hyperbloom and Aggravate teams, but maybe there will be another Pyro or Dendro character that can change how Burning and Burgeon functions. But for now, it is not worth using. And I hope we do not get another Nilu Bloom situation with Burning and Burgeon. Anyway, thanks for sticking around to the end. Appreciate the company, and as always, have fun out there, Traveler. <laughs>